salutations, Ms. Mac Mafia. Welcome, 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 and welcome to Outlast Whistleblower. The game where we're about to see the ending, so let's get all caught up, shall we? Waylon Parks, disgruntled Murkoff employee, decides to send an incriminating email from his work computer. Dumb. But he does it to expose the shady ongoings of Mount Massive. Heroic. He obviously gets caught very quickly and ends up getting tossed in with all the other patients at Mount Massive Asylum. And after a run-in with a cannibal, a set of twins, a big guy, and a guy who really wants to get married, we have now finally come to the end of this horrifying trip. So strap in, grab a drink, and let's get to the finale of Outlast Whistleblower. All right. All right. You know, I... Oh, I had almost forgotten. Oh, do you hear that? The way we, oh, the way we like sludge on the floor. Thank God it's actually well lit in here because I am at batteries. Oh, uh, if. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, please. Please, I want to live. What is going on? Why am I being chased? I have nowhere to go. Hey, Edbear. Hey, Han. Hey, Han. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Come on, go. Wait, Lord. Please, please. I want to live. I want to live so bad. I have family. I have friends. I have good times. Chris? Chris, please, bro. If we were ever homies, now is the time. If we were ever homies, now is the time. Get out of here. Oh, he's got a little fashion studio. That's nice. That's nice. Ah! Oh, he's got me. He's got me cornered. I'm going to die here. Hey, Ed Bear. Damn it. I tried to take a shortcut and it, it didn't work. Oh, it didn't work. Oh! I can ride into it, ride down to it, right? No time, no time to waste. I hate him. Out of every single creature, monster, person, thing in this game, Eddie gets me the most. I think we had a good plan. I think coming down here, Coming down here, doing some, some loops, okay? We'll be strategic. Oh, we got stuck. We're stuck. Go, 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 Waylon. Go, Waylon, please. Live for your life. Come on, where's that adrenaline from earlier? You broke your entire back earlier, and this is this is the time you choose to limp. Okay, come on. We got this. Oh, we can do this. Oh, I'm praying to every god I can possibly think of. Every god I can possibly think of. Okay, all of them. Get out of here. Wait, so then where are we supposed to go? Oh. He's reviving me, he's reviving me, he's reviving me! <laughs> okay. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep moving. I can't even think of an insult. Oh my god. We just jumped out a window. Oh, there's no on the floor. We just jumped out a window. Okay. Hear me out. <laughs> Up until this point, I was of the impression that Waylon is a little stupid, okay? I mean, he's the IT guy and he sends incriminating evidence from his the work computer, right? That, however, took guts. That took guts. I can respect that. I can recognize that. You know what? He's earned, he's earned my respect back. Oh, speaking of, this note we're reading is actually about Eddie Glaskin. <laughs> what a coincidence. But lucid dreaming figures remain as murky as ever. Glaskin claims near constant control of his dream state, yet correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles. 
highly arrhythmic REM slash NREM, morphogenic activity plateaus at 9 ppm. Gluskin remains a frustrating interview subject. Um, he's still trying to tell us what he thinks we want to hear while he's studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He claims to have grown up in Leave it to Beaver despite a traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience that is a matter of public and medical record. When I confronted him with the photographs that his father and uncle took, he responded with a mixture of laughter and anger and restraints were issued. He similarly refuses to discuss his victims, both categorically and specifically. When I would show him pictures of the women, he would not admit they were dead or mutilated. He is claiming advancement in the morphogenic engine program that he has not yet achieved. Said that he could clearly hear the voice of the war rider just by closing his eyes. Clearly, he's still trying to curry the favour of his doctors. I won't speculate at what he expects to gain by it. So, despite the fact that he's you know, a man of goals, let's say. He actually was quite intelligent before he was put into the morphogenic engine and then I think he just totally like snapped. Please tell me we're close. Is this it? No! Why? Is this Traeger's office? Oh my God, this is Traeger's office. Male ward! We are out of batteries. Oh, thank God for timing. Thank you for that, game. I appreciate you. Please, game. Waylon has had enough. You have punished him enough. Oh, okay. So that's what happens when you run out of batteries. Okay, good. So it doesn't just leave you stranded in the dark. I was going to say, it's kind of messed up if they did. Mm -mm. I don't have a good feeling. I don't have a good feeling. I don't have a good feeling. Oh. 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 God, that scared me. Oh. Oh, is this? Oh, I can tell by the, the scars. This is all. This is Gluskin's work. That's where all the patients went. It's got to be like at least 50 guys up there. Maybe even 100. Surely we don't get chased here, right? That would be insane. Are they giving them all? He's giving them all tits. Okay. That's... <laughs> I guess if you can't find the perfect woman, make her. No more. <sighs> I'm so done. I'm so done. I can't do any more, Eddie Gluskin. He freaks me out. Oh, look at that. He set up. Oh. Oh, no. He set up a nice. This is a trap. This is such a trap. <laughs> Oh god, he's like all the others. He's like all the others. Wait, why did I say that? That's his line. I'm sorry. I got a little confused there. Nope. Ah! He's coming! He's so fast! He's so fast! Yeah! Oh my god, I'm freaking out! Oh no. Wait, have I gone the wrong way? Oh. I've gone the wrong way. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. Do I jump back up into the vent? Mm. He's gonna cut me off somewhere. Oh, he genuinely terrifies me. I obviously I get scared in Outlast, but none of the characters genuinely terrify me. 
as much as Eddie does. Oh, God. Okay, let's go. Let's just get out of here. <gasps> oh! One more. I try. And I try. You are. Oh! No. Hey, Ed Bear. Listen, I changed my mind. Please, Wall Rider. Please, Wall Rider. We're besties. Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, I hate to imagine. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wait, what? Hold still. God damn it, what are you? No, 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 Why did it just change? Oh, this is not over. I'm so happy. You guys don't even understand how happy I am right now. That was a victory. That's one of the biggest W's I've taken all year. Okay. Okay, come on. We're only one more ward away. We're only one ward away. Oh. Wait a minute. If that's happening now, then that means nearly half the game Miles has been in this building the same time as I have. That's kind of cool. First of all, that's kind of cool to think about. But also that means Father Martin has sacrificed himself. So that, oh my God, wait. So that means then Miles is about to, Miles is about to become the wall rider. Right? That's what happens. He goes straight from the sacrifice down to the bottom floor. Who is that? Was that Miles? Tell you one thing. I've seen more than enough dick and balls tonight to last me a lifetime. And not all of them attached to a man. Let's wrap this up and get back to the truck. Is that Traeger? That's Traeger. That's a SWAT team. They're not friends though. They're not gonna be our friends. Miles is about- Oh, there's people here! All right, we gotta be careful. One wrong move and we're gonna bullet straight in between our eyeballs. And here is a note. Give it to me. Dear sirs, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Wernicke from the structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he was cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper. And legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients number number and number have already been scheduled to transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combed through Wernicke's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Wernicke was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand. Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is sufficiently sh shielded to allow female style so I can come with my own. No. That means they're going to build a new one. They're building a new hospital. There's lots of gunshots going around, but that does not mean we're safe. 
first. Now we got the first. We had the patience. And that would be Miles. Actually, wait. Is this the room? Hey, babe. Oh, wow, that's burning. Well, that's burning real good. That's kind of nice. Wait, what is this music though? It's happy. Why is it positive? Are we about to escape? Is this it? Oh my god, is this it? Oh my god, we did it! Oh wait, no, let's not celebrate. Oh, I'm so sorry. I celebrated so prematurely that we're still in the asylum. And all the electricity is back on. Holy, we're in the administration block. <gasps> this is the administration block. Oh, wait, let's get his legs back. This is downstairs. That's the arrow to go back up. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, it's open. Oh, and there's the door. Mr. Park. Still alive. Where's that coming from? Uh, let's uh, make a deal. Y you help me. Oh. Uh, I'll help you. Uh. You. No. Oh. I wanted to step on him, by the way. No one can know. No one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! Come on! Look at it, it's right there, man. We can take Miles' truck and everything. You got this. You so got this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh. oh, this is the ending I wanted the first time! This is what I wanted the first time! gonna get right into another mental asylum I mean unless he lies which is probably the way to go <gasps> there's Miles's car <laughs> and he left the keys in what's that it's Miles Is he alive? No, because we can only see him with the... Yes! <laughs> you press that button. There's no going back, Mr. Park. Ozzy? There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends in Murkoff. We got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, they'll do nothing to murk off but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is f But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? Absolutely it is. I don't care who I'm sacrificing. And we expose those bitches! Oh, yes! This is the ending I wanted the first time! That was it, you guys. That is the end of Outlast Whistleblower. As I said, it was the ending that I wanted the first time, but I'll take it the second.
second time around. Uh, I think also we can safely assume that Miles is now the Wall Rider because we could only see him when we had the camera and that's the rules of the Wall Riders. I'm so happy we took care of Gluskin. I'm so happy we left the asylum. It's so cool to watch the, the events of the game play out as another person, like to watch the church burned down from the outside and to hear the cops coming in and to see Traeger being pulled out. It was so cool. But yes, anyways, let's talk about what's going to happen next. For starters, I think in regards to Outlast, there is no more content. Um, we've played the DLC, we've played the full game. I don't think there's any other endings, so no need to worry about any of that. But there is Outlast 2. So same rules as last time. If we can get this video to 15 likes, I will play Outlast 2 as soon as possible. So we skip the vote entirely. It'll just go straight onto my queue. And when it comes up, I will play it. Of course, you probably want to know what we're playing next, right? Well, let's actually take a look. Even I don't know what we're doing next, so this will be fun. Next up on my queue is... Oh, God. <laughs> we are playing... Stay out of the house by Poppy Combo. But in any case, if you guys like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really, really means the world to me. And it lets me know you guys like the content, so it's a win-win situation. If you guys want to see my entire Outlast Whistleblower series, please be sure to check the description down below. Down there is a playlist with all of the videos leading up to this one. Down there as well, I have my Ultimate Outlast playlist. So that has everything in Whistleblower. It'll have everything in Outlast 1. And eventually when we play Outlast 2, all of those videos will be in that playlist as well. So it's everything Outlast. <laughs> And down there as well, you'll find links to a bunch of my socials. Um, particularly at the moment, I would definitely recommend my Discord, my Instagram, and my Patreon. My Discord is a fun, active, vibrant place. We have community nights as member of the week. They also get to see my off-camera gameplay. So if I have to do some grinding or something off-camera, they're the ones who get to see it. Instagram has all my pics and obviously my stories. But most importantly, they are usually the ones who get all of my YouTube updates first next to Discord. Um, so if you wanted to stay updated, on me please be sure to check that out and then finally of course we have my patreon so my lowest tier is three australian dollars a month so in other countries it's probably even lower than that and in exchange for that you guys get a bunch of sneak peeks at upcoming videos video updates individual rewards it's a fun time i put a lot of effort into it so check it out if you want to the oral of today's story is sometimes nearly all the time revenge feels good <laughs> i was just filled with just unbridled joy when we took care of Gluskin, so. <laughs> but in any case, I hope you guys all stay lovely and cozy and warm. I love you guys also very, very much, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye! Thank you so much to this month's top patrons. It's Halsey and Maya's so cool.